In this session, I will explain model based reinforcement learning algorithms. The model based reinforcement learning algorithms assume that we know the model of our environment and that model is basically a Markov decision process where we know all the states, all the actions available in the states, the transition probability function and the immediate reward function. With this knowledge, there are two common approaches to find optimal policy using recursive relation of Bellman equation. First one is called value iteration and second one is called policy iteration. Now, in value iteration method, the optimal policy that is the optimal action for a given state is obtained by choosing the action that maximizes optimal state value function for the given state and the optimal state value function is obtained using an iterative algorithm and that's why this method is called value iteration and in value iteration the policy function is not used explicitly during the iteration rather we update the optimal state value function by selecting the action that maximizes the estimate for optimal state value function. So let's look at the algorithm for value iteration. The first step is to initialize the optimal state value function V0S for all the states that can be a random initialization or we can set the optimal state value function for all the states equals to zero. That is our choice. In this session, I will explain model based reinforcement learning algorithms. The model based reinforcement learning algorithms assume that we know the model of our environment and that model is basically a Markov decision process where we know all the states, all the actions available in the states, the transition probability function and the immediate reward function. With this knowledge, there are two common approaches to find optimal policy using recursive relation of Bellman equation. First one is called value iteration and second one is called policy iteration. Now, in value iteration method, the optimal policy that is the optimal action for a given state is obtained by choosing the action that maximizes optimal state value function for the given state and the optimal state value function is obtained using an iterative algorithm and that's why this method is called value iteration and in value iteration the policy function is not used explicitly during the iteration rather we update the optimal state value function by selecting the action that maximizes the estimate for optimal state value function. So let's look at the algorithm for value iteration. The first step is to initialize the optimal state value function V0S for all the states that can be a random initialization or we can set the optimal state value function for all the states equals to zero. That is our choice. After initializing the optimal state value for all the states, we update this iteratively here. This expression is updated expected state action value for state S and action A. That is nothing but Q value for state action pair S, A. Now here we are taking the expected value because for a given state S and a given action A, we may transition into different states with different probabilities as we have seen in our Markov decision process. For example, when we are in state S1 and take action A0, we can end up in state S1 with probability 0 0.10 in state S0 with probability 0 0.70 and in state S2 with probability 0 0.20. So to find state action value for state S1 and action A0, 
we have to take expected value with respect to all the possible transitions from S1 under action A0. And this value will be different for different actions A available in state S. So updated value of optimal state value for state S will be maximum of this expression with respect to actions A available in state S. And we perform this for all the states and get updated estimates for optimal state value function for next iteration. And we repeat this iterative update for optimal state value function until it converges to V star of S. Now, once we have the V star of S, we can find the optimal policy that is the optimal action in state S as argmax with respect to A of expected optimal state action value for state S and action A. And that gives us the optimal policy. Now, the value iteration algorithm is called model based reinforcement learning algorithm because the optimal state value function is obtained using two important elements of the Markov decision process model of our environment and they are the transition probability function and the reward function and both these elements come from our model of the environment so value iteration algorithm is a model based reinforcement learning algorithm the second model based reinforcement learning approach to find optimal policy is policy iteration in policy iteration method optimal policy is obtained by finding better estimates of optimal policy function iteratively and that's why this method is called policy iteration there are two steps in this method first one is policy evaluation where we evaluate the state value function for current policy and second step is policy improvement step where we improve our policy using the estimate of state value function so let's look at the policy iteration algorithm first we initialize the optimal policy pi 0 randomly so now once we know the policy we know what action to take given a particular state then we iterate following two steps until the policy converges to optimal policy that is pi star so in policy evaluation step we estimate the state value function using this expression which is expected state value under policy pi here note that unlike the value iteration where we use action a here we are using the action corresponding to our policy pi and because our policy is already known the state value function corresponding to that policy is obtained in this equation that's why this step is called policy evaluation step that is we are evaluating state value function for current policy now here this transition probability t is a number the reward is also a number this gamma is also just a number and we are summing this expression over all the states so this equation becomes a linear equation in state values for all the states and here we write this type of equation for all the states s so we have a system of linear equations where number of linear equations is equals to number of states and we can find the state value function for each state by solving that system of linear equations now once we have the estimate of state value function we can improve our policy by defining our improved policy as argmax with respect to a of expected state action value for state s and action a that is q value for state action pair s a and here note that in policy evaluation step 
we are using the action according to current policy pi whereas when we are improving the policy we are considering all the actions available in state s and we improve our policy by selecting the action a for which this state action value is maximum for the given state s and we repeat these two steps until our policy converges to pi star and again policy iteration is model based reinforcement learning algorithm because the estimate of state value function is obtained using the transition probability function and reward function which are the two main elements of our markov decision process model of the environment